Hi, I'm Juliana. I'm a PhD candidate in environmental engineering at Oregon State University. And today I'm going to show you how I analyze samples for PAHs and pH metabolites with fluorescent spectroscopy and a statistical modeling method. So this is something I've been developing to monitor biological experiments where I'm trying to degrade PAHs with bacteria. So I have an example batch bottle here that I'm gonna be taking a sample from today and analyzing with this fluorescent spectrophotometer that you see behind me. So I'm starting off by taking that sample from the bottle with a glass syringe and I'm taking two milliliters out and transferring that to a four-sided quartz cuvette and then wiping down the sides of the quartz cuvette to make sure they're nice and clean before I put it into the spectrophotometer. Here I'm using a Varian Carry Eclipse instrument and I already input my scan parameters so I've started the scan of my sample. So what's happening here is I'm exciting my sample over a range of excitation wavelengths and then collecting emission data over a range of emission wavelengths. And what I end up with is this spectra that is characteristic to the pHs and pH metabolites in the sample that I have in the cuvette. So the scan turned out great and that's done. Except that that raw data doesn't have any physical meaning right now, so I need to keep going and extract that data from the instrument. Make sure you put your USB in the wrong way first. And I'm going to transfer that raw data to a different computer that has MATLAB and Excel on it. So starting in Excel, I'm going to take that raw data and reformat it into something that is going to be more easily read into MATLAB. And then here in MATLAB, I'm running a script that's going to read in the data from that Excel file and format it as a MATLAB data structure. And that data structure is now going to be compatible with the statistical models that I want to run with my data. So here I'm going to read in that data into the models and always good to have a typo in there. And now this computer software is going to model my data and pull out the spectra of the compounds that I'm interested in. So after some thinking time, you get several different models that are generated and you get to choose your best one. Unfortunately, the output from this model also doesn't have a lot of physical meaning right now. So we need to go in one more time back to MATLAB and extract the data that we need from the statistical model and then use it with a calibration curve that I have developed for this method that is going to turn whatever output from the model is into an actual concentration. And with that, the method is truly complete now. And I hope you enjoyed walking through it with me. So that's okay. Someone's watching me.